Welcome to yet another exciting segment on KE Atidama 360. If you are new on this channel, I will entreat you to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share so that others too can have access and watch. Before we listen to today's message from Apostle Joshua Selman, let's read something from Luke chapter 9, verse 49 and 50. And I read, John said, Master, we saw a man forcing demon out of people using your name, but we told him to stop because he is not one of us. Don't stop him, Jesus said. Anyone who is not against you is with you. Amen. I had, please I'd like you to be sensitive as I teach while discussing the Holy Spirit here. Many of you will be introduced to realms and dimensions in the spirit tonight that will surprise you. The Holy Spirit, the spirit of the living God. I started my journey with God not looking for fame, not looking for power, not looking for ministry. It was a blind but sincere pursuit that if there was more in God, then peradventure my life could be a revelation of that more, even to a generation. I went to church and I found out that while preachers preach, they preach powerful messages. And whilst they were preaching, I saw sick people. Whilst they were preaching, I saw confused people, oppressed people. And yet they opened scripture. They spoke so in intelligently about the love of God they spoke so articulately about the power of God his power to heal his power to deliver said the Lord I'm bringing you closer I am bringing you closer I'm drawing you to deeper levels with me I am drawing you to deeper levels with me i am drawing you to deeper levels with me oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Allah dante salene kateba la kusia and when they shared the grace i saw sick people walking back sick we ended the average church service like this may the grace of our lord jesus christ we said then we said the love of god the fellowship of the holy spirit and we confess that it should rest and abide with us and yet people walked as though they were leaving a funeral where was the power where was the grace I saw how people prayed begging God to show up the more I read my Bible I became confused someone is missing something somewhere I had encounters that I could not explain I had the opportunity to meet a few well-meaning sincere veterans of the gospel I asked them questions about the Holy Spirit. They waved it with some theological answers. And I said, no, no. Let me tell you one of the ways that God draws you into intimacy. He will reveal a dimension of himself to you and hide it back. He hides it back so that you will begin to seek him. The dimension he hides back is a realm he wants to become your habitation. But he hides it so that you will prove your pursuit your hunger and i began to pray i said lord there has to be men and women who don't just talk about spiritual things but are able to demonstrate it with their lives then i picked a book one day called god's generals when i picked that book and i opened it i could not close it again it was as though i was reading about my relatives i said this is it this is what i've been trying to ask 
this is what i've been trying to seek men who subdued kingdoms shut the mouth of lions they live like gods upon the earth then i began to study the history of the church in nigeria and i came across strange men like archbishop benson idahosa men who shook this nation not another nation i read about men like apostle babalola men who carried power with god and i said something is wrong with your body oh god when did we reduce the power of god and the ministry of the holy spirit to a theological dissertation where did we hide the demonstration of his power we call it the house of god we claim that god is there and yet people come and they are not changed and when the call of god came upon my life i said lord do not send me without me knowing the holy spirit what will be my my message to this arrogant world when i stand before kings and nobles who will i tell them send me and that began my journey my pursuit that desperate search for the person of the holy spirit i heard men like benny hin talk about him benny hin would stand on stage and talk how that catherine coolman would say do not grieve my friend and sob on the stage where was that passion where did it go today we have written books about him and yet we do not know him we have organized conferences after his name yet we do not know him we have packed crusade grounds and we're utterly disappointed and revealed from our flaws the disconnect as far as our relationship is with him to the point where we do not even know his power again when we see him move we are not sure if he's the one and yet i read from scripture and i studied from history that he was the force behind the enviable liftings of men the force behind the rising of people he was the one who lifted politicians like daniel lifted men like joseph empowered women like mary strengthened men like elijah how would we want a great destiny ignoring his ministry and his person listen to me god did not give us a religion it was an experience it still is an experience introducing to us this personality that has been so misunderstood we call him oil he's not oil we call him a bird he's not a bird we call him wind he's not wind we call him fire he's not fire he is the holy ghost the spirit of the living god he is the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings he is the holy ghost seal of the age to come is changing everything tonight swallow your pride tonight come to the school of the spirit don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life it's a little here a little dear and then your day will dawn he's at work in you changing everything in obedience to christ let's sit down